Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Uh, we have a question that came in today from Jay Perriman. And Mr. Perriman says, My golf swing is 500% better since I have been using the PPGS. All right, that's what we like to hear. But my putting leaves a lot to be desired. Sunday I played and hit 14 greens in regulation and never had a birdie. In fact, I had 37 putts, which is normal for me. I have a 15-foot put putting mat on my garage floor, and I can consistently put the ball in the middle of the cup. I even practice on the putting greens and make the same kind of misses that I do on the golf course. I am 72 years old and have been playing this game a long time, and my putting has never been this bad. Can you spend some time talking about putting? I have used a long putter, a belly putter, and eight or nine regular length putters with no success. Help. With about 12 exclamation marks after it. Jim Perryman from Southern California. Okay, Jim. Uh, let's see if we can help you out here. Let's start off by just giving an evaluation of, of what your putting was actually this round. We have a, there's a way of figuring what we call par for putts. You had 14 greens, okay? 14 greens at two putts each allows you 28 putts. Then you had four greens you missed, which if you got it up and down, which would be one putt, which would now lead you to uh, have only one putt for those four holes. So you had four to that, and now it comes to 32 that day with 14 greens as par for putting. You said you had 37, so at the, at the best you very likely shot five over par. Okay? Now sometimes if you chip in or you, you hold out a shot, or you make an eagle with a two putt, eagle that can that can skewer the scores a little bit but pretty much this is a good idea of what you did so you were at least five over par that day so you, you got some pretty good ball strike going now in all honesty you didn't tell me a whole lot about that I can really dissect from here what could be wrong with your putting in other words uh, are you missing them all the same way are you missing them to the left or the right short long uh, those kind of things could give me some kind of clue so what I'm gonna have to do is is, is I'm going to have to generalize this, but I think I might be able to hit something on the head. First off, you say you put in your garage and you make them all the time. Well, it's, it's obviously, like very likely, if your garage floor is fairly flat and level, it's a pretty level putt. Your mind and your eyes know the line, and so I think you know that, that you just stand there, you look at the hole, and you, bang, you putt the ball to the hole. So, uh, and if it's relatively straight, you know it's straight, you have a confidence level, there's no doubt about it. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, is I would ask him, is this, when you putt, do you many times have a putt that you feel, say, is right to left, and you hit it, and it might have been left to right, or was dead straight? I mean, do you many times have a putt that, that when you read it, and you stroke it on what you read, is you got, you got totally mis, misguided? I mean, you, you didn't read it correct. I know I've had that problem. I know a lot of seniors get that problem. We don't see as well as we used to. And so naturally, if, if you can't, if you're having trouble reading the greens, for one, how are you going to make putts? If, you, if, you're, if you're thinking of putts right to left and it breaks left to right, I can't tell you how many times when I used to play with my brother Kenny and, and DJ, I'd, I'd hit a putt and I'd, I'd, have a, I'd knock it in there. I, I, I hit a lot of greens all my life. 14 was a good number for me on average. So I'm standing there and I hit it fairly close a lot and I got a 8, 10, 12 foot putt for birdie. I'm playing it two inches right to left and I hit the putt and it goes left to right. And, I, and, sometime, and I'd say sometimes, man, I can't believe it. I'm standing there saying, and, and Kenny, my brother Kenny and DJ's there, and I say, I can't believe that, man. I played that to go right to left and it went left to right. And they looked at me and they said, hey, Dad, Ray Charles could have seen that that was a left to righter. I mean, so what are they telling me? Am I reading the putts with my eyes closed or I can't see, whatever? But that was one of my biggest problems. And, and like the year I played in the U.S. Senior Open, which was 12 years ago, 10 years ago now, I'm 10 years younger. That day when I, DJ was caddying for me, it was one of the greatest times I've ever had with him. He caddied for me. I just said, DJ, you read the putts, just tell me what you want to do. I never bent down once and looked at it. He'd just come up and say, left edge, right edge, two inches out, and da da da. And, and one time when I had this about three foot of downhill, left to right, he said, left edge, and then he got about 10 feet from me, he turned around and said, oh yeah. He said, whatever you do, don't double hit it. 
I remember this was the U.S. Senior Open. The greens were putting about 13 on downhill putts. And, and I, I took that putt. I barely, I barely took the putter back a, a half an inch and hit it and almost tried to stop at impact. And that thing just went whoosh, dove in the hole. But I find that my biggest problem in reading putts, I don't read them. I just don't read them correctly. And so uh, is that an eye problem? Yeah, maybe. But I do know, I do know many times our eyes do change. And, we, and, and it can change on us between, between our getting our eyes checked. So I'm going to say, first off, you might want to go to an optometrist and get your eyes checked if you haven't had them checked in quite a while. And uh, I get mine checked at least once a year. I get DJ's, I, I got him trying to go two times a year because it can, it can happen. I once had one of my touring players, a guy named Bill, say to me, Serge, I, I, I'm missing all kinds of putts up close. And I started looking at him, and he, he was having trouble lining them up. So I talked him into going to see my optometrist. And... Uh, uh, who I knew was a golfer, and I talked to him about things, and he'd help me out with some of my eye issues, and and kind of find out I never knew this, but Bill was has always worn contact lenses, and his eyes had changed, and the contacts he was wearing couldn't fix the problem he had. He had to get into a new brand. So here we go. Here's a guy playing a tour, and he knew he was putting bad, but he never thought about his eyes. Another time I had a tour player, we were at a tournament one time, uh, a pro am, a big pro am, and he showed up, and when he got in. He, he, it was almost like he barely snuck in in time to grab a little bit of breakfast before we got, went out and teed off. And he said, man, I can't believe it. He said, uh, I, I couldn't read the sign, and I almost drove right by it. And by the time I could read it, I was almost by it, and I barely could catch the exit. And then a little bit later, as we're talking, he's complaining about how bad he's putting. And I just said to him, hey, you're talking about those big signs at an exit that, that could be, what, 10 by 10s or whatever? And then the words could be a foot long and a foot big, and you couldn't read it? He said, yeah, it was all fuzzy. And I said, you're complaining about your putting. Have you had your eyes checked lately? He said, no. I said, well, man, you need to go get your eyes checked. Again, I sent him to my optometrist. Guess what? The guy was blind as a bat. He got glasses on, and within, within a month of, of getting his new glasses, he won his first tournament. So, A, get your eyes checked. That's a, that's a must. And then if you're playing with some folks, how about just for just for just to double check yourself, if, you're guy, if, you can, if you're playing with your guys and they'll do this for you, you read a putt and ask them to come over and see what they see. And see if you're reading them correctly. Because that could be a big issue. If you're not reading them right, then how are you going to make them? And I know that's a big, throw, that's a big thing I struggle with. And, and we, always hear, we always hear about that, that on any shot, you've got to commit to it. right? Well, it's pretty hard to commit to the line on a putt if you're not certain of it. So no matter what, whatever you read, if you don't have a partner or a caddy that can double check you and, and, say, and give you their opinions, then then you have to finally settle on something. Whatever you settle on, you gotta walk in there with commitment and conviction and, and stroke it there. And, and, and again, I would think that if, if you're keeping track of how many times you read a putt and a putt doesn't do what it's supposed to do or might even do the opposite, then there's your, lie, there's your problem right there, green reading. And usually green reading has something to do with your vision and you need to get your vision checked. So I, I would check those two things out. Uh, it could be the setup, could be the stroke, but if you can, if you can make them in your garage, then I would have to say all that has to be pretty good because you're standing there and you're stroking them. So I think it's got to be green reading, which affects the stroke. And, and if you're missing them because your green reading's off, there's very likely not enough commitment and conviction to, to, to make a good stroke. And even if you did, it wouldn't go in if you got the, long, the wrong line. So check those two things and, uh, and, and see where that goes. And, and uh, for that matter, vision can affect your whole golf swing and all your long, and all, and your long game also. So it wouldn't hurt to definitely get your eyes checked. So. Putting is important. It's the biggest part of the game. Best place to shoot to, to lower your score is to stop making more putts, not missing them. So uh, we got to get to be better putters because that's what makes us a short game wizard. So I'd say start off by getting your eyes checked because I got a feeling that's where the problem lies. All right, and not your stroke and not your setup because you're making them in your garage, which if your stroke and setup was bad, you still wouldn't be making them there either, or at least as much as you did. So get to your optometrist, get your eyes checked, and. Uh, See that? See what you need. Don't forget, you cannot play golf with bifocals and trifocals, glasses as well as contacts, and and that's one message I can't say enough about. And 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 I've seen it time and time again. That's what's messing up the swing, but it'll also mess up your putting and your short game, and especially your putting. So again, if you're wearing bifocals or trifocals, I'm going to tell you right now, that's where the problem probably lies. Get rid of those and 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 get some plain glasses with your length vision, and uh, you'll see an improvement there too. So. Finishing up and talking about no bifocals and trifocals, especially the ones without lines. That's a big problem in the golf game, including putting. But get those eyes checked. See that you're seeing what you really think you see. 
All right, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.